Šta u stvari radi ambasador Marfi? Od 15. septembra prošle godine, i to baš od ove emisije, prve u novoj sezoni, u kojoj je bio gost i prvi gost, Marfi uporno samo ponavlja ono što je rekao prije četiri mjeseca u CDU. Amerika će intervenisati, Amerika će reagovati i varaju se svi koji misli drugačije. Još jednom, pogledajte taj intervju na YouTube-u, kao da je bio danas. Političari bi posebno trebalo da ga pomno analiziraju. The United States is not going to stand idly by while Mr. Dodik or anyone else rips up the Dayton Peace Agreement and leads this country into conflict. Neither do I think the higher representative or other members of the international community are going to do that. And he's making a mistake if he believes he can have a confrontation with the international community and, and through the high representative or through you four and that we're going to acquiesce in his attempt to dismantle the Dayton Peace Agreement. He's, in he's engaged, Mr. Dodik, uh, on a very dangerous course. He is provoking a confrontation in Bosnia and Herzegovina with uh, the international community. It's reckless. It's going to lead to the isolation, or worse, of Republika Srpska. He presents himself as an avatar for the Serb people, right? He thinks he's Prince Lazar, and he's asking everybody to come out to the fields of Kosovo Polje and fight for him and sacrifice for him. But he hasn't chosen uh, an, a, 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 a heavenly kingdom. He's very much chosen to enrich himself at the expense of the people he's calling out here in the earthly kingdom. He's got to find somebody to blame, somebody other than himself. So there needs to be a boogeyman in his story. And the boogeyman in his story is the international community, the United Kingdom, the United States, the high representative. The problems are his own. And now he's being held accountable for them, and he doesn't like it very much. The actions that Mr. Dodik and other RS authorities are taking are serious. I think you're on the brink of a war in Bosnia and Herzegovina. Uh, but I do think you have serious political problems. And I do think the path that Mr. Dodik is going down is dangerous. Not just for the country of BIH, obviously, but for the Republic of Srpska itself. It's a mistake. Uh, and he is attempting to use the people of Republika Srpska as a shield. He's engaged in a, in a confrontation uh, that isn't going to end well for him and those who support him if it continues. Uh, and, you know, the United States has been clear about where we stand on these issues. If you're going to challenge the Dayton Peace Agreement, if you're going to undermine the state, then we're going to act. We're going to act to protect the territorial integrity, the sovereignty, and multi-ethnic character of the state, and we will take actions to hold individuals accountable. So I'm confident the sanctions are having the impact we want them to have, and we'll continue to use that tool if we feel we need to.